Hi guys, Uncle Mike again. I'm going to try to keep this uh, video a little short. I'm out in the shop here, got me a new toy. Uh, got me a MIG welder, wire feed. Uh, just uh, a charm of a, a tool there. It works fantastic. It uh, was on sale, I believe, $159. Uh, I got the little uh, buggy and little cart there. Built me an extension cord. That's the uh, yellow thing over there. It runs up. Got a whole spool of wire back there that uh, my dad gave me when he made a, an extension cord for his well, what was it uh, oh his air compressor and he had some left over so he, he gave it to me and I used it for that and it's uh, a 220 extension cord I can run it all the way out to the front of my shop there with no problem and hit all four corners there's my old uh, stick welder back there old Lincoln I've had that forever it's uh, what I grew up welding with uh, my dad gave me this uh, wire feed back there, and if you've ever used a wire feed, you'll know why I got a big welder. Those darn things are just crap. They, they spit dingleberries everywhere. You have that acid core or acid flux uh, core wire that smokes like crazy, burns your eyes, puts a film over your lenses on your glasses and your uh, shield, and you can't see out of them after that. And, it's just they're crap. Uh, that's all I can say about them. I guess they they have their place, but I haven't found it yet. But uh, when I bought this thing here, uh, I bought the uh, the uh, bottled for it, so I didn't have to worry about renting a bottle any or every time. So uh, no, they had bottles on sale for eighty nine dollars, and took it in to uh, get it filled up. And the guy said, "We don't fill them up here. We we exchange them." So I got this. Uh, piece of crap of a rust bucket for uh, my bottle now. <laughs> he didn't even pitch in a can of paint so I could purdy it up any. But uh, yeah, it sure did look nice when I had that nice uh, green bottle on there with brass fittings and stuff. It uh, looked pretty nice on there, but uh, well, it is what it is, I guess, and I've got a full bottle of gas on there, but uh, anyway, uh, my project that I started on uh, out here, and the reason I was using it is a buddy of mine gave me this uh, front end for a go-kart. And I uh, thought I would use it making a motorized bar stool, but I haven't uh, used it yet because uh, it's too wide <laughs> for the motorized bar stool. And then uh, it, I think it's actually chromoly steel. It, uh, I've been told that that's really hard to weld on. I haven't tried it yet. It could be stainless, but... Uh, it looks like it's chrome, or that chrome chrome all is steel. Uh, well, one of these days I'll try welding on it, I guess, and or find a project for it anyway. But anyway, what I did was I I have this uh, little rack out here. This is a oh, one of those camper rack type things that you stick on the back of your truck when you're going camping. You can haul all your your crap on the back of this rack. Well, I'm converting it into a wagon. Uh, what I had done before is uh, because it didn't fit my uh, my application that I wanted to use it for. Uh, it wasn't wide enough to fit the, my you know the thing I wanted to stack on it. So I had cut this uh, piece off of here that went into the the trailer receiver, welded some axles on it, and I had a two wheeled cart, had a tongue that came off the front, and I hooked it onto my lawn tractor, and uh, you could drag fertilizer around the yard without problem, and any heavy loads, you know, uh, peat moss or whatever. Uh, well, it got to a situation where I needed four wheels on this thing. So what I've done here is uh, I've built me up an, an axle for the back here. I, I still need to get some flat strap that I can come off of. The axle was going to do is fit on the centerpiece here, run up, bend, and then come up here and I'll have a hole drilled and, and fit over both sides there. Uh, that'll support the back end so that if I hit something it doesn't uh, drop the axle over it, right now it's just held on with two bolts on both sides which could shear if I was to hit something with a load on this thing uh, front end is uh, built just like a, a go-kart uh, I've had extra uh, another front end left over or pieces left over from when I built the motorized bar stools and uh, there they are back here and uh, those got the same spindles on them right there's uh one of the spindles and it comes over and whoops let's see here there's a steering knuckle in the center and then it comes over to the other side 
Well, I didn't need to have a steering shaft that comes up with a steering wheel on it, so uh, being that it's a, not going to be a motorized bar stool, and I'm not going to put a motor on this thing yet, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some flat strap hooked on here. It comes out, bends back up, and then it comes back again and hits this uh, pivot point here and continues on to this point. And then it'll just steer like so, and I, you know, I'll have a handle hooked onto this, the flat strap then that'll run out the front. And, uh, as I'm dragging it around, it, it, it'll just pivot on the, that pivot point there. Uh, still need to get some bolts here for it. I got to get some fine threaded uh, bolts because the and nuts because the same nuts also fit my axle sun here and my spindles. And then right now I don't have anything to hold my tires on, so I'll need to get you know a couple of nuts for those. And then I need to, those uh, pins that I got dropped through here are way too long and. Uh, so I need to get another one of these bolts of this size. This is what uh, size came with this here, but apparently I used uh, one on the other rig over there because uh, one time the you know these fine threaded bolts you get a ding when you know, hit gravel or something like that and, and it screws them up and then you can't get the nut back off. You got to cut them in half. But anyway, uh, that's my project. Uh, the other thing that I plan on doing here is this piece here. I want to find. Uh, Oh, some stock that you use for your trailer receivers, and uh, or the uh, hitch part, I guess. And uh, I'm going to find some of the uh, tubing that it will f fit over the top of that, and I just put a sleeve through here, or not a sleeve, but a, a pin through it, and this will work as a sleeve. And then I'll just slide the other piece in here, put a pin through there, and then come out and over. So, well, it'll drop down and and then over. And fit into my trailer uh, socket so I can uh, load this on the back of my my truck. You know, just flip it in there uh, into the trailer socket, and uh, I can haul it to wrecking yards in and use it for hauling my toolbox around. Uh, this piece here then will probably just be welded in place here, or you know, I'll find some way of connecting it without having to have a bolt running through the center. Uh, but that's my my plans anyway. I just have to get to the uh, metal shop see what they have see what i can work with anyway talk to you guys later until i come up with another project or another toy and i uh, hope you guys all have a, a good day see you later